Hello everyone, it's Art Russell here again at Think Twice on YouTube and thinktwice.me at wordpress.com. Today, in an effort to help you dive deeper into your understanding of your essential nature, I'd like to share a passage from a book entitled Illusion vs. Reality by Sri Ranjit Maharaj. Let's go straight to the passage. Two friends wanted to play a trick on another friend. One of them started to insult the other one, but he was laughing at the insult. A third friend was troubled and said, How can you laugh when he is insulting you? He was laughing because he had the key to the game, but the third boy didn't understand. In the same way, realized persons, though they are living in the world, understand that all this is nothing. And whatever happens, nothing is happening. Therefore, they are not touched. People are always in fear of what happens or what will happen. They are afraid of what people will say. They think, what am I going to do? What will happen to me? They fight or enjoy. All of this type of bondage is due to the mind. The one who is out of the circle understands that all is nothing. It doesn't exist. It is only ignorance. It is said that only the one who dives deep into the ocean can find the pearl. The one who remains on the surface is carried away in the stream of pleasure and suffering. You must dive deep into the depths of the unlimited because that is where you are. Never stop at the limited. The gold doesn't care for the shapes it takes in the ornaments. It may be in the shape of a dog or of a god. It is unconcerned with the form. In the same way, be indifferent to things because they do not exist. Nothing can touch you. You are unattached. The mind must come to the point of the complete understanding of the illusion. There lies your state. Nothing remains for he who has understood. There is no more gain or loss. Don't ask if you can achieve reality, because you are the reality. So why say, can I? First of all, get out of the circle. Leave everything one after the other and go deep into yourself. And that's with a capital S. Come back then and be in the all. What you have described is a good state, no doubt. But go a little farther. When the mind accepts that all is illusion and only illusion, then you are in yourself. The body and the mind are illusion. You should be happy to know that. Get rid of your identifications. The only thing that the master does is to show you the real value of the power which is in you, to which you pay no attention. He does nothing more. It was uh, only a stone, you thought, but the master reveals its true nature, which is a diamond. He makes you the most precious stone. So this book has many more. It's rich with many more insights, um, but that may seem confusing. The reason I'm sharing, sharing this is to help you move beyond the suffering that's associated with the human condition. And I think a great example of that can be found in the movie Forrest Gump, if any of you have seen that. Um, if not, it might be worth a watch. There's a section in the movie, uh, it was a book also, that describes the suffering that's associated with the egoic position. An example that comes to mind is when Forrest, uh, soon after the death of his mother, begins running and he runs to one coast of the United States and then he continues running to the other coast. He goes east and west and finally in a state that looks as though it could be Arizona or Utah, he suddenly stops. He realizes that he just doesn't need to run anymore. And what I'm asking you to consider is aren't a lot of us running? Aren't we running to the next pleasure or running away from pain? 
We're running and running and running and hoping to find something that lasts. And what I'm pointing to through my teachings and selections from books such as this is that there's a deeper part of ourself, the true self, capital S, that's beyond suffering. Anyway, that's, I hope I've given you something to think about today or something to consider. Um, bye for now. We'll talk again soon.